Uh, okay, so dividing fractions. Now, when we're dividing, adding, multiplying, what did I miss? Subtracting. We still have to follow bed maps. Now, in this one, it looks like we have two sets of brackets. Okay? So let's read them from left to right. The very first bracket, how many terms are in that bracket? One. So is there any really simplifying to do there? No, there's no simplifying, okay? It's just really just letting us know that this is a negative term. So let's go to the second bracket. How many terms are in the second bracket? Two. And there's an operation between them. That means we can simplify here. Now we've got to do simplifying by dividing two fractions here. When we divide fractions, and I'm just going to make up an example quickly on the side here. Let's say we had 1 over 5 divided by uh, 2 over 3. When you do that, you keep the very first fraction the same, so you get 1 over 5. You then change your division to multiplication. Yeah, and you invert, which means to flip the second fraction. So that second fraction then becomes 3 over 2. And the last lesson, we just learned how to do the multiplying of fractions. We just use the exact same rules then, top by the top and the bottom by the bottom, and that's going to give us 3 over 10 is an answer. So let's deal with that first bracket we have. So don't you cross multiply? No, that's only when things are equal. Okay. So let's turn this into a multiplication question. This becomes 5 over 4. The operation changes to what? This changes to multiplication. And we flip it, exactly. We're going to get 4 over 1. So now that we've simplified that a little, Let's actually carry it out. The first part, if you guys notice, I've been keeping that first term the exact same the whole way down. It doesn't change yet because we're not dealing with it. We deal with a pair at a time. We're going to multiply 5 by 4, which will give us 20, and 4 by 1, which will give us 4. Okay. So now we have 20 over 4. Because this is a fraction, I'm not going to simplify this. I could make this 20 over 4 into just a whole number. But since I'm working with fractions, let's just leave it as a fraction and do all that simplifying at the end. Okay? So, again, because this is division, we're going to apply those rules once again. We have negative 5 over 3. We're going to change that to a multiplication sign. And we're going to invert or flip that fraction. So this now becomes 4 over 20. We then apply our rules for multiplication. Now, Remember, we talked about this before. This is a negative term. I can go about this two ways. I can actually apply the negative to something, or I can just think of it as negative. So that negative term, I'm just going to think of this whole number here. This entire first term, I'm going to think of him as a negative, and this guy is a positive. So what is a negative times a positive? Negative. So I already know my answer is going to be negative, and from there I can just focus on the numbers. 5 by 4 is going to give us, yeah, and 3 by 20, 60. Now I can reduce this fraction, okay? Because they're both multiples of 10, I can divide both by 10. So we're going to be left with 2 over 6, and remember it's still negative, and you're right. I can then divide both terms by the number 2. Now I didn't say to reduce the fractions in the question yet. But in your quiz tonight, it may ask you to reduce those fractions, so you should practice that tonight. When we reduce this, it becomes negative 1 over 3. Okay? So that's dividing fractions. 